Hawks. Oh my God. Okay. They have turned their season around. I really do want to say that. And it's been quite impressive because like, look, they started first off TLC. I want to hear your guys' thoughts. Do you guys agree with me? Timothy Luwalu Cabarro has been surprisingly really good for this team. Like they've low key have been having a lot of success ever since they've installed them into the starting lineup. You could argue. And I find it pretty crazy. Okay. Like, this guy, it's not like tonight he has 0, 0.0 anything, but he plays good defense. He's pretty awful at times, but like sometimes he plays good defense and they've had success with him after him becoming an afterthought of, for the Brooklyn Nets last year. I just want to give a little credit. Like as of right now, he hasn't had a great game against the Brooklyn Nets, but like Timothy Luau Cabarro for the season, he's came in and he's been like a 40% three-point shooter in limited minutes. Like he's shown like he can help the Hawks off the bench. I'm not saying he's good for a starting lineup, but it flexes their bench because like look right now this is a team that's not 100 percent healthy and you know deandre hunter isn't out there so he's kind of helped fill the, that void that deandre hunter left along with solomon hill and you know bogdan bogdanovich is still out too so he's kind of like helped cam reddish kevin herter by being in there by being another body who can imitate the length of deandre hunter and can put up is a willing shooter. So I do want to give some credits, a little snaps to TLC. Trey Young continues to do his thing, having a career year. John Collins is continuing to be that amazing guy looking like he's worth every penny. Danilo, Danilo Gallinari, shout out to the guy who taught me how to say that correctly. Danilo Gallinari, I used to say Daniello because I actually have a family friend in Italy whose name spelled exactly the same. He goes by Daniello, but it's Danilo, Danilo Gallinari. You know, he's looking like their six man now. And Cam Reddish has some good nights, has some bad nights. But this is a team that's good. They're deep. And I think they're a fun team to watch. I think it's definitely something that I feel like people aren't giving the Hawks enough credit because they struggled in the beginning of the year. And I just think that's BS because this is a good team. They're super deep and they're not even 100% healthy. Like, imagine how good they'll be once they get up to 100 health okay this is going to be a team to reckon with like they're going to mess you up and you're going to struggle because they can go small they can take out clint capella and put in you know john collins at center danilo gallinari at power forward and then they can go you know when healthy they can put bogdan bogdanovich kevin herter or cam reddish or deandre hunter all at the wing spots and then trey young at the point guard spot okay and then you have a bunch of shooting and athleticism that you're just like okay how do we match this because like it i believe it's kind of overwhelming for teams at points because they're like this is way too much athleticism and scoring and we're kind of seeing it with the kings in a way the kings are starting to imitate what our guys have been able to do over here on the atlanta hawks where is use your athleticism your rebounding ability and put up more shots than the opposing team and you're going to win a lot of basketball games that way because if you can put up more shots, even if you shoot at a bad frequency, you're probably going to win because, you know, you're putting up way more shots than the other team. That's just my philosophy. Do you guys agree with me on that philosophy or is it stupid? I think it's it's a pretty sound philosophy, I think. I think definitely this is a team that I think not enough people are giving them credit. I mean, this is a team that made the conference finals, for God's sakes, okay? This is a good team that definitely... People need to put out and like realize like, hey, they they have a real shot to make it deep into the playoffs again. I don't think a lot of people are counting them to do that, but I truly believe that they, they have the potential to do so. So why not pump up this team, okay? And yeah, that's, that's my thoughts. What do you guys, do you guys agree with me or am I just talking out my butt? Because I do think this is a deep team and I think they have a lot of potential to have a lot of success, especially deep into the year. But yeah, that... I mean, that's up to you guys if you guys agree with me. That's basically it. Let me hear your thoughts down below.